the Irish uh, agri-food industry uh, is at a really exciting place. In my view, when you look back in 10 and 15 and 20 and 50 years' time, uh, will be seen as the period of change and growth for Irish agriculture. Farmers that are focused on reducing cell count and having better cow health and things like that, um, they're a better kind of they're better farmers to work for. It's quite revealing how much money that can be saved, and the money comes from a number of different sources. One is milk yield, the second is higher replacement rate, and the third is the cost of, of treating the cows. Well, IBR is a, a condition that develops with um, when an animal becomes infected with a, a virus. Uh, it's called bovine herpes virus one. The primary thing is, is, is around biosecurity and to ensure that any animals that are entering the herd are BVD virus negative. So any animals who buy in or bring onto the farm for any other reason should be tested for BVD before they come on farm. AI centres trying to source the best genetics. I mean, and under EU legislations, we need them actually free from IBR. Practically after 18 month vaccination, right, they're protecting their young stock on the farm. I think it's a good idea for every farmer to understand what Jonah's disease might do on his farm and whether, whether it, he has a risk that it might impact on his business and cause him a significant loss in profit. From what we know about Jonah's disease, uh, the young animals, the very young calves uh, and younger heifers in a herd are the, are the most at risk and susceptible animals. 